Hey everyone, welcome. Today I'm going to show you a sneak peek at Relight AI coming to the brand new Luminar Neo. Hey everyone, welcome to Luminar Coffee Break. I'm your host, Angela Andrew, and today we're going to be looking at Relight AI. This is one of the new tools coming to Luminar Neo this winter, and I want to give you a demonstration of how it's going to work. So, <clears throat> excuse me, up on the screen, I have Luminar Neo. You can see that the catalog looks pretty similar to Luminar AI. The folders, albums, everything is on the left instead of the right. And what we're gonna do is click over to edit and take a look at Luminar Neo. Let me go ahead and go back to my catalog here for a second. Let me go ahead and reselect this image. There we go. Go back to edit and it's giving me issues. I'm not sure what's going on. One moment. All right, everybody, sorry about that. I am working with a very early build of Luminar Neo and it was giving me a little bit of issues, so I had to restart the program. So I apologize for that little delay. We're back though and it's working now. So again, my apologies. I'm gonna go into Relight AI and we're gonna take a look at what this tool does. So its purpose is both creative and problem solving. And this is, in this instance, we're gonna use it for a little bit of both. We have a backlight picture, backlit picture where our subject is very much blocked up in the shadows. So what we're gonna do is bring up that brightness near. This is gonna brighten up the foreground. We'll go ahead and move that over to the right. And you'll see how that's just lighting up our subject beautifully. I wanna take a moment here and say hello to everyone who's visiting today. Hey, Harry, Rude, Dawn, so good to see you guys. All right. Uh, Harry, you said you there was an issue with Vanelli's sound yesterday, so hopefully mine is good today. Let me know. See what else we have here. Hello, Joyce. Hello, Levin. Good to see you guys. All right, so we've brought up the light in our foreground. I'm going to then darken up that background, and you'll see how it is working with the depth of the image. We can also control where that depth lies, and you can see how that light just flows over the image. I think right about there looks great for this particular photo. And then we can go into our advanced settings. Dehalo is going to be how that light that comes around your subject is governed. It's going to ca cause that to blend a little bit more seamlessly so we can adjust that just to make that light wrap around our subject a little bit better. I'm gonna bring up the warmth on my subject a little bit, bring up that kind of warm light and then I can even further warm up that background. And this is where it becomes creative. We can really start to stylize our image and make it something different and unique. So there's that, bring that down a little bit, bring that up. And this is the power of Relight. Let's take a look at how far we've come. There's our before and our after. So it's an incredibly powerful tool. And right now I only have that one tool to show you because like I said, this is an early tech build and it's a beta, so things are still very much a work in progress. Things might change between now and the official release, but we wanted to give you a chance to see what this tool could do. And it really is pretty spectacular. So there's the before and the after. Harry says, can I use a mask with this tool? At this time, there's no masking tool on Relight. There may be one at the time of the official launch, but in addition to that, you'll also have all of the layers masking abilities that are coming with the full release as well. So there'll be a lot of options to craft this however you wanna use it. Let's see here, Pat says, any chance of being able to feather the transition? That's what this dehalo slider is supposed to do. So you can see how that light is starting to feather and wrap around our subject. I have a pretty dramatic transition here. So I have the brightness up very high. 
and our brightness, our darkness here in the background down really far. So we can change that a little bit, adjust that. And that is going to help kind of soften that blend. Still gonna bring that up pretty high. And then Dehalo works on that transition around the edges. So I hope that answers your questions there, Pat. See what other questions we have going today. All right. I think that about covers it. So this is a great tool and I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing this in Luminar Neo. I wasn't planning on doing this, but let's go ahead and do one more. I wanna show you how this works on a landscape as well. So that last image had a little bit of both, you know, a human in there and um, some depth. But if you're not just a portrait photographer, you might wanna do something like this. And I'm gonna go here to edit and to relight. And in this instance, I don't wanna brighten up my foreground. I actually wanna darken it down because this is not the interesting part of the photo. So I'm going to darken down that brightness mirror. And then I'm going to brighten up the rest of the photo. I'm gonna bring it up pretty dramatically here initially so we can see where that depth is falling. And you can see how that's just rolling along the depth of that image. So we can bring the depth to where we're lighting up the waterfall, we're lighting up this mountainside, but we're making this foreground here darker, which I just think is super, super cool. There's not a whole lot of dehaloing to do here, but we can also adjust that. And we can even warm up the distance here and cool off the foreground. So there's a lot of really cool stuff you can do. Let's take a look here at the before and the after. And just think what possibilities you have once you get all of the really cool tools we have in Luminar AI and some of the ones from Luminar 4, we bring these in, combine this with the new technology in Luminar Neo. It's gonna blow your mind, guys. I'm really excited. I hope you guys are too. Let's see here. If there's any other questions, I wanna wish everyone a wonderful Thanksgiving week. Let's see here, looks like good. Um, question about when's the launch? We'll be making an announcement about the launch date uh, probably later this week, not here on Coffee Break, but Skylum in general and we should be able to fill you in next week. All right. Well, thank you so much, you guys, for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got like this episode, make sure you give us a thumbs up here on YouTube. That's always great to see. And enjoy the rest of your week. Bye, everybody.